In this video, we'll be solving a quadratic-like equation. An equation is quadratic in form if it can be written as au squared plus bu plus c equals 0. The example that we're working with is to solve for x, 18x to the fourth minus 29x squared plus 3 is equal to 0. So I can see that this equation is quadratic-like because the highest power is two times as big as the second highest power. And that's an indication that we have a quadratic-like equation. Now I'm going to try factoring this. I can see a prime number back here in the back, so I can use 3 times 1. Um, pretty obvious. And then I need uh, two numbers that multiply to give me 18. So let me try 2 times 9. So I'm going to write 2x squared here in the front, and then 9x squared in the front of the second factor. Now we need to have both signs the same because this third term is positive, and we can see that they both have to be negative. So I'll put my negative signs in here. And then to check and make sure, I have a negative 3 times 9x squared is a negative 27x squared. And then uh, 2x squared times negative 1 is negative 2x squared. When we add those together, we do get negative 29x squared. So these are the factors for this quadratic-like expression. And that is equal to 0. Now the zero factor property says that if you have two or more factors multiplied together and they equal 0, then one or the other is equal to zero. So I'm going to set each of these factors equal to zero. So 2x squared minus 3 is equal to zero. Or 9x squared minus 1 is equal to zero. Now we just need to solve each of these. Now these definitely are quadratic. But I can see that I can use the square root property on this. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides. These will cancel. And I have 2x squared is equal to 3. Then isolating the x squared by dividing both sides by 2. These will cancel. x squared is equal to 3 halves. And then square root both sides. And that gives me x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 3 halves. Now I need to rationalize this, so I'm going to multiply top and bottom by the square root of 2. And I get x is equal to plus or minus square root of 3 times square root of 2 is square root of 6. And then in the denominator, square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. So this is two of my solutions. I know that since this is a fourth degree equation, that I'll have at most four solutions. So if I solve this quadratic, add 1 to both sides, I get... 9x squared is equal to 1, then divide both sides by 9. x squared is equal to 1 ninth, and then square root both sides. So x is equal to plus or minus. The square root of 1 ninth is 1 third. So here's my other two solutions. And we're finished.